normally when you're watching one of my videos or you visit my website, it's all fun and games. And uh, it is fun and games. And uh, there's not much in life that uh, uh, I would think that uh, you couldn't find some humor in, um, which is why I'm always finding humor in the most inappropriate places. Uh, to some, anyway, <clears throat> may seem inappropriate. Uh, I don't even know how to start here on this one, but um, I've done two or three uh, uh, called memorial boxes for people who've lost their pets, and um, I take that pretty seriously. Uh, I, I don't have any examples of them, unfortunately, to hold up to show you here, but uh, I paint uh, a realistic uh, painting and they look good <laughs> on the front of the box and then on the um, remaining sides I uh, paint uh, and have my more uh, fanciful um, style or cartoon style um, something that goes with the animal, the pet um, you know the owner sent me a list of <clears throat> things the pet would do that would be funny or cute and I illustrate that somehow so and I incorporate some found ornamental iron pieces usually something that's uh, um, just not what anyway and I send it with a bag and they it's for pets that have been cremated and uh, they can put them on the, um, the pet in a box on their mantle and I, I, I truly think it's a nice uh, a nice thing and uh, and I've had because of that I've had um, some a few people contact me about doing this for loved ones, a relative, and because I, 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 it has happened because I think that, well, as anyone who knows who's lost a, uh, a loved one, that um, there's more than usually just you that deals with the situation. So you have to have someone that <laughs> has a sense of humor <clears throat> and a sense of adventure and has other people, other parties in the uh, um, uh, situation with the same sensibilities. So um, I'm going to do, I was thinking about doing one for myself and I think I'll get around to that, but actually I have more pressing needs. Um, my mother passed away um, uh, four years ago and um, um, she was cremated and here she is. She donated her body to science, and when they get done, they cremate the person, and they send them back to you. So I have my mom here with me in my cold studio in a box that I haven't even opened yet. Now, the situation is that we have, um, you know, other places that we could put my mother. There are uh, uh, sites in, in her hometown, and as I found out recently in uh, Cleveland, which is where her first husband was from. Um, uh, so there's, there, you know, uh, I could do something other than what I think I'm going to do right now, but what I think I want to do is build a box for my mom, so um, I don't have to tell people she's been sitting on top of the refrigerator set in the basement for the past four years. Uh, now, uh, it's one thing I wanted to say before <clears throat> anyone that knew her you know, before you get bent out of shape, um, out of all the things we talked about before she passed away of cancer, was uh, of all the things we talked about, we didn't talk about what to do afterwards, you know. I mean, I think it was enough for her to have her body donated and to be cremated, and she didn't give a fly and you know what, about it, whatever happened after that. And that's pretty cool. I respect that. Um, but I'm left with, you know, a so, some, I mean, a sense of responsibility that I need to do something here. Um, <clears throat> so, as I'm rambling on here, the thing of it is, is that we didn't talk about it, uh, what to do, and where to go, and it wasn't important to her. Um, but I think, shall I said my best, you know, my best, uh, my, my well-being at heart, I think, and uh, so I think it's okay. One, that she doesn't care because she's long gone. <laughs> and two, she's not long gone. I think she'll say, okay, you know, this is this could be an interesting thing because she always supported me. 
Um, she may not like how I'm sitting here talking to you dressed the way I am, but I must tell you that this is my studio. It's in the basement. It's cold, and I work down here, so <clears throat> I'm not going to get dressed up <laughs> to sit in the cold and talk to you. It's January, and the basement isn't heated a whole lot, just enough to keep the paint from freezing, you know. So, um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put dear old mom in a box with her uh, painting, a uh, painting of her on the front, realistic, and uh, then some remembrances on the side, uh, which will be curious. I have, will have to go through the process of, um, uh, of remembering the things uh, on the lighter side. And my mother was um, uh, an interesting a person. Uh, we didn't have a lot of light moments together, so uh, this will be a curious thing. For me to go, a process for me to go through, uh, and sharing it. You know, you know, this is what I do, and this is what I do for a living. So here you go. Um, trying to think if there's anything else. Um, you know, I've been I've been thinking about. Well, should I just post this and then work on the thing? Because if I post it, and although you can delete your postings, that's not a deep, big deal. But while it's uh, live, the video, I will be um, forced to, uh, to move on with the project. Um, so, I will have an example of that, and I, and, oh, there is one more thing. When I do these boxes, you don't have to put ashes in them. My idea, I mean, that's really serious, and I understand, like I mentioned before, you know, you have all these other people in the process, and you know, you may be cool. <laughs> about my work, but other people probably will look at you and hope that you die next. Uh, <clears throat> so my idea is, you know, when you're anybody who's lost, you know, a parent or a relative and you have to take care of their stuff and clean out the house, well, there's all this stuff that you can get rid of, you know, through an auction or however you want to get rid of it, but there's always this wad of personal stuff that, you know, really doesn't mean a whole lot to you. And you, but you feel guilty about getting rid of it, like little stuff you find in jewelry boxes, like a high school ring, really personal stuff that you know that that it meant something to the person because they've kept it, you know. And you'll know what it is when you run across it. Uh, what, what do you do with it? You know, there's really no value in selling it, and you would feel guilty selling it. So, buy a box, put those mementos in the box. You kind of have the person, you know. The ashes are just ashes, man, you know, I don't know. Personally, I, I just think they should be scattered, but, uh, you know, in this case, I'm going to use my mother to set an example of what, you know, the extreme purposes of this type of uh, box could be used for. But um, you could put these things, and they tell a story, you know, and usually this story's just scattered. It won't take long, <laughs> probably a couple of weeks, and that the memory of that person's pretty much gone, which is another reason why I can do this, because, you know, the chances of somebody that knew my mother, you know, stumbling across this project on the web are going to be really slim, you know, and she was well known, uh, a businesswoman, but, you know, once you die, man, people just like, that's it, you're gone. Um, but if you have all this stuff in a box, and the box is unusual and, and, and interesting, it's much less likely that it's going to be thrown out. In fact, this box, as a piece of art, with all these trinkets inside of it, will tell a real story. I think it just have like a life beyond, you know, the life it will have on your coffee table or in your mantle or your, in a wardrobe or knick-knack cabinet or wherever you choose to put it. And I really believe that. I, 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 I think that, um, you know, although you know, this is marketing and my mother, as a businesswoman, will appreciate it. You know, because, you know, for all, whatever you do and, and whenever you put it out in the public like this, it's all marketing no matter what <laughs> people tell you. So I'm getting off track, but this this will happen so that I can you know clear my conscience and, and get on with it. So post this part, I'll post this part, and then there'll be the one where I build the thing, and uh, and then I'll, and then you know that'll be it. <laughs>